Well, hi there, welcome to the Obi Thorin Alliance. And in today's video, we're going to be doing other comparison movies versus TV shows. My name's Jacob, this is Luke. Comment down your below which one you prefer movies or TV show, your thoughts about either one. Like and subscribe, it helps out the channel quite a lot. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> Concepts, I guess they they deliver for different types of people. I know some might prefer movies because they they tell a story and then they finish. You get a answer, you get your you know you get to know what what happens. And the TV show is more a journey, and then the ending can be well worth it. So, what's your thoughts, Lou? Yeah, they obviously both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, it's it's hard to compare the two, but we're going to try our best. Um, I guess a good starting point might be looking at um, like the convenience between the two. Mm. So we look at a movie, as you said, it's you watch it and it's done. Yeah. Um, but is that more convenient because of the length? You go, you're looking at two hours invested into watching something where a TV show could be 30 minutes, but it could be 30 minutes times 100 episodes. So which which is more convenient? Mm. Um, what, what What is your opinion on that? Oh, I guess it's what your mindset. How much time do you want to invest into the story, the characters? That's when a movie is, I guess... Easier, but it might not necessarily be actually better than a TV show. So they they are good for different sort of people. What I think is good entertainer. Um, what if we were to compare? Um, I know the the styles they provide. So we look at a movie. Uh, they can present. Obviously, not as much information, but they present it in a way you want to see it. You feel what the writer and the directors want, and then it concludes. Where a, a show requires going more in depth, but there's the risk with the show of making too many episodes, too many seasons, mm -hmm. having boring episodes just to drag something out. Like, mm -hmm. which is better, getting something in its short form how they want it to, or something in its long form getting more information? I guess how well the person telling the story feels the story needs to go for and sometimes movies drag out as well but unfortunately with tv shows when you feel like the episodes drag out it feels longer because there's more seasons that's the benefit i guess to the movie is because some movies tend to go like that and some don't um, out of the two, which do you think is rewatchable? You got something. It's a movie that sh you could goes for two hours, and you could watch it time and time and again. Opposed to a show that has ten seasons, but because it has so many episodes, you could rewatch it. Because by the time you get to the end, you forget what happened at the start. Which which is more rewatchable? Oh. I would probably say maybe the TV show, but it it depends how the ending is. Like I feel like the ending is pretty important because it makes or break the show. If you feel like the investment wasn't worth it, you might go, oh, "I'll just chuck on a movie." Hmm. I think movie. I think shows actually are more rewatchable. Yeah. Even if there is lots of episodes. For the sheer fact of it's not necessarily the end result, it's the journey, and you can rewatch it and experience that journey again. Even if you know your favorite character dies at the end of a show, you could still enjoy the journey along the way. Mm. But with a movie, once you know what happens, in movies it's hard to rewatch them because if it's only an hour and a half long and you know everything, you could remember every line in a movie because yeah. you've seen it so many times. Um, what do you find yourself watching more? Is there many movies you've watched over and over again? 
Uh, probably the Star Wars and Lord of the Rings movies, but besides that, I probably find myself watching more TV shows. I find it hard to rewatch a movie once I've seen it. I know yeah. what happens where I've watched several TV shows over again or I've started rewatching it or I've just watched random episodes for no reason just because you can where you're not going to turn a movie on halfway and go oh yeah I'll just watch 20 minutes of this movie and turn it off or a show you can just watch season 5 episode 10 and it doesn't matter and then just for the sake of because you've seen the show and you remember you're like oh I remember that episode it was a good one mm -hmm. um, in terms of it's kind of a hard thing with how streaming's going, but if we compare the cost, we go, well, if you go see a movie and it's a re the form it's meant to be watched, viewed in, at a cinema, you've got to pay to go to the cinema, where TV shows, ignoring streaming services, are something that's usually on free-to-air TV that you mm. you pay with time. You know, and It's free to watch, but you have to watch ads as a consequence of that. Yeah. And, which is better value for money in that sense. Paying to go view something in a cinema opposed to sitting there watching ads to watch a TV show. Uh, I'd probably say watching the TV show because you can keep yourself occupied while the ads are on. You can, you know, mm -hmm. choose what you want to do with that time. Going to the cinema, there's still ads as well in the beginning, so... Mm -hmm. Ads are sometimes unavoidable, so... I don't know, if we were to look at streaming services, what do you think takes up the biggest chunk of streaming services? TV oh, shows TV and TV shows, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon most people that have streaming services tend to get it for the shows, opposed to movies? I think so. I don't see anyone going, oh yeah, I got this streaming services for specifically for a movie. Mm. Do you feel that there's like a certain time and place to watch either? Like for me, I feel that movies are like a, a Friday night, Saturday night thing where mm. a TV show is a anytime thing. Yeah, I agree with that. I feel like sometimes movies are more for like give yourself some time to watch it. What TV show you can go off, watch it when you kind of feel like it well movie's kind of an event you plan to sit down yeah. and watch the whole thing a, sh a show you can pause and come back to and I guess you can for a movie but it would be if you were to watch a movie over several sittings you would it just wouldn't flow right mm. you'd, you'd need to re-watch it where like a show because it's usually 30 minutes or so you could finish it and if you can't you could at least watch it over two sittings or a movie you can lose interest very easily mm. Um, what else could we compare them about? We've got uh, so we reckon streaming services. Most people go on there to watch the shows, opposed to movies. Movies and they have their own separate time. If you had to choose, I don't know a world where only one was to continue to exist. You could only ever have movies, or you could only ever have TV shows. What would you pick? Probably TV shows. But the thing that I like about movie movies it feels more like an event like when you go and see a movie you see it with your friends and then you enjoy the experience why well, i feel like tv shows are more like not not as exciting as seeing like a big big blockbuster movie because they're complete with the budget as well tv shows have less budget but they more go on what movies they need to bring their A game with the budgeting, so I feel like I would choose TV shows, but I think movies are more more eventful. I find that a tough one because you go, you look at movies. If we if we were to imagine a world of only shows, someone could get put into a show, it has success, and it goes for ten seasons. That's ten years of those actors only being in one set of shows. Mm. So if you come to really like an actor, you'll only see them that one show. So people start to become typecast, and I know it just takes up a lot of time. Where I think if I was to only have movies, you know, Ryan Reynolds could be in three movies a year. Mm. Uh, you can they're shorter. You can keep coming up with new ideas. Where I think trying to think of if you were planning out a movie, we could sit down and think of 
okay, how do we fill an hour and a half to two hours worth of a storyline? Mm. That's easier done than going, okay, we need to think of something that's going to go for 10 seasons, 20 episodes a season that are going to keep people interested. I think movies are probably easier to make in that sense, or easier mm. to write, so we would continue, we'd get more and more content. Because per year, I don't know, there might be, let's say there's 50 new shows that pop up, there might be... 500 new movies that pop up so we're going to get more new ideas mm. so I, I don't know it makes it harder for me moving forward maybe I'll choose just movies because mm. just we'll get more content I don't know um, as I said it's an interesting thing to compare uh, based on the, the points we've talked about so far what what do you think the if, if someone had to choose to watch something tonight, would you recommend start a new show or just pick a movie? Um, well, obviously, uh, time has a factor to it, so it depends, you know, if you're busy and things like that. But that's when, you know, comedies are very useful for this discussion as well. Like, I would say, you know, comedy could almost be... You could finish a comedy almost as long as you could finish a movie. So it depends what style of show you choose as well, and obviously movie. But I feel like it depends what TV show you would choose. But if you want to start something fresh, I would go with maybe a fun comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let just to recap it. What do you think? Run through the. The pros and cons of movies. Why? What makes movies good and what makes movies bad in terms of the points we've talked about so far? I would say the pros is that there's a beginning, middle, and you can watch it through um, that one session. I would say a negative with watching a movie is that unless it's a very famous actor... Normally, we don't get to see, like, the story or the actors, like, um, build. Like you said with Shameless, throughout the 10 years, we actually got to see the characters build and got to see their character development. Well, I feel mm-hmm. like in movies, that's very rushed. Yeah. So... So we get character development in a show that we don't in a movie, unless it's multiple, like, sequels of movies. Yeah, like... Marvel's a great example, War of the Rings, or like the Rocky franchise is what well. we do get good character development, but unless there's multiple move, uh, movies, I would say movies don't have as good quality development because they need to move things along. And you said movies are less rewatchable? I think so, yeah. uh, Because you know what happens and it kind of doesn't change. It's shorter. Um, Less less character development. um, Probably more expensive to make as well. Um, They're more of an event thing. They're not just an easily put on kind of scenario. Uh, Okay, what about shows? What are some of the positives and negatives of shows? I would say positives of shows is that you can choose between a normal TV show and a limited series and be like, do I want to get invested in a full five or ten season story or do I want to watch a limited series and be entertained? Because that's kind of the bonus of TV shows is that they can choose to go all out or invest your time. But a negative is is that unless you do get invest with the, I guess, time and budget and characters, it, like you said, there's a lot of filler episodes and then the, the writing and the directions, like the show can completely change. And I think the problem is sometimes creators don't know when to end a show, like they make it for the sake of money, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. And like shows, there's yeah, the, the, it requires more investment, but you get that character development. But the investment, because it's broken into smaller segments, it's actually easier to digest and watch. So it's mm. a really there is so many pros and cons just in that. 
Um, I guess you have characters that become typecast or actors can only be in so many shows at a time. Um, I guess the things that can deter people from a TV series are the same things that encourage other people to watch it. Someone could say, oh, I don't want to watch it. Ten seasons, too much investment. Where the mm. next person say, ten seasons, that's awesome. That's that exactly keeps me what busy. Yeah, so it's... Um, Shows really, their their negatives and positives are so much that they they can be flipped depending on which way you view them, mm. uh, which makes them interesting, which makes it difficult to try and compare the two. But you know, we've ra- raised some points that people might be able to. Well, if they disagree or agree, they can put their comments below. Mm. Well, thank you for helping, Luke. Hope hope you all found this video informative and helpful. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe, let the force be with you. Bye-bye.